was running out of ideas and they suggested stuffed zucchini. And then stuff and then zucchini ended up in the refrigerator and I didn't put it there, so <laughs> I think that was a hint. I'm gonna make stuffed zucchini and I'm sort of winging it. Um, so I have two large zucchini, medium to large. I'm going to cut them in half and scoop out their guts. Get to that in a moment. And then I'm going to mix those guts, <laughs> the, the, the zucchini, in here with some chopped onion. And I'm going to use <clears throat> these mini toasts that I buy. I buy them at Walmart because they're around a dollar a package. You can buy them at other grocery stores and pay three or four dollars a package if you like. Um, unless you have a problem with Walmart, and I understand. <clears throat> so I'm going to use five of those. I'm going to crunch them up. They're going to be like breadcrumbs. Well, they are breadcrumbs. Um, I'm going to use a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to mix up zucchini, chopped onion, Parmesan cheese. I'm going to use garlic powder and some parsley. And I'm going to mix that up and put it back in the zucchini. And then, because this is the only mozzarella, fat-free mozzarella cheese I have in their fridge, which is a, it's a Sargento, you know, cheese, what do you call these things? Stick, cheese stick, mozzarella cheese stick. I'm gonna cut it up and put it on top. Um, so, that being said, I have all these gadgets out here, they're all these different knives. First, let's cut this in half. Probably the easy way to get out the meat of the zucchini is to use like a melon scooper, but everyone might not have one of those, whereas I think most people will have a kitchen knife or kitchen knives of varying sizes, which is what I pulled out here. And I found one. This knife is kind of curved and it's serrated on the edges and I keep thinking that this is probably for scooping stuff out <laughs> and if the owner of this knife were around they could tell me so I could try that it sort of works right you got to be careful that you don't go all the way through to the other side you know that you don't pierce the skin so that's one way that worked pretty good here's a paring knife a small knife that I don't want to so that works. That <laughs> this one works better than the fancy gadget. I'm thinking that some culinary expert watching this video, haha, -ha, like they would be, <laughs> would want to tell me exactly how to do this, and they're welcome to leave me a comment for next. Oh, maybe not for me next time, but for you guys this time. Just don't cut your finger or hand. But there's another way. The point is, you want to get out meat of the zucchini as close to the skin as you can without going through the skin because you're going to put stuff back in like like little boats gonna, you're making the zucchini like a boat so let me try this third knife <laughs> that i have out here um no i don't like that one too big so this one works well ow <laughs> well but slowly so i'm sticking with this one and i think the best thing to do is to make a vertical slash, oh, now I feel like a surgeon, a vertical slice <laughs> in the zucchini. If this were, you know, if blood were involved, I'd faint. Um, and then scoop it out. So I'll do that with the other one off camera. Um, I'm going to turn the camera. Then I'm going to use my big knife. Dice up my zucchini. My own TV show, it was great. <laughs> Probably be on the Comedy Central channel. <laughs> so, dice it up small. The same thing with your onion. And you can use any other vegetables you might have around that are high in nutrients and low in calories. Um, so, any color bell pepper would be good, some carrots. You could use celery if you wanted. Make it crunchy, but I'm keeping it simple. It's 
going to be zucchini and onion and spices and some cheese. And when it gets all done and put it back in the zucchini, I'm going to bake that zucchini. I think I'm going to bake it in my toaster oven if everything fits on this tray. And well, I want to bake it so that everything gets cooked. And I'm wondering about the mozzarella cheese because I don't want it to burn when it's on top. So I'll be thinking about that while I turn off the camera and do all my slicing and dicing. And I'm going to crunch these cheesy things. Let's see how I'm going to do it. You can do it with your hand. Or you can cut them with your knife. Either way. But you want them to be small so the knife might be better. Bake it at 375. 
cheese stick and divide it amongst my four pieces of zucchini. You can cut in half, cut that in half, cut that in half, and then slice up each four to go there. Um, I think that's it. I will show you. I'll show you what they look like right now. I'll bring the camera over and I'll show you what they look like at the end and I'll also let you know how long I ended up cooking them the whole time. And the nutrition content, which, well, I'm going to tell you how many calories are in it. And you already know there's no sugar or added salt or added fat or anything like that. So it's a high nutrient, low calorie vegetable. We consider this a vegetarian entree. and they can be as colorful as you choose to make them. Hi, I wanted you to know that I baked them for 20 minutes and I, I don't think it's time to put the cheese on yet because I don't think the bottom, the bottom of the zucchini boat isn't cooking. So first I spritzed them, spritzed them with water. I have a, a spray bottle and I sprayed them with water. And now I think I'm gonna go ahead and cover and you might choose to start this way, to cover them. I don't want the tops to get too dry, but I want the bottoms to cook. So it's been 20 minutes, I'm putting the cover on, I'm leaving the temperature alone. I'm going to go another 10 minutes. And that will be 30 minutes, and then I'll put the cheese on to melt, and surely that's going to be it. I might even, at this point, since it should be cooked, I can put the cheese on and put it on broil and melt the cheese. And I think um, if you portion them out, so mine was four, to four servings, and you include equal amounts of the uh, runoff, the extra, in each of the servings, then they'll have about 55 calories per boat, boat and overflow. <laughs> um, you could, you know, if you served the whole zucchini, it'd be like an entree almost. So you could do that if you wanted. You could even add some Morning Star crumbles in your mix, some soy protein, and make it officially your protein bearing entree um, for the day, evening, lunch, whatever. Um, but cook it for longer than I originally thought, so I'm trying now baking it for 30 minutes and then topping it with uh, mozzarella cheese, fat-free. It's up to you if you want to use um, low fat or whole fat. Um, jury's out on whether or not the fat is harmful, but extra calories, we're gonna stick with it. too many calories can lead to weight gain and problems. Um, okay, so I'll let you know how it turns out. Okay, yay, they look good now, but I did have to cook them a lot longer than I thought. And it's funny because when I was dicing everything up, I was thinking, you know, it might make sense to microwave the vegetables for a minute or so to partially cook them. So that's something to think about. If you do that, um, chop up everything, mix it together, except the breadcrumbs, partially microwave it, stir in your breadcrumbs, tuck your zucchini and bake them. But, or just consider baking it for about 30 minutes before you add the cheese. So they look great. I'm going to bring the camera over and show them to you. And um, that's that. I'm going to have one with my dinner.